North Carolina Highway 12 is the lone road linking the islands and peninsulas of the Outer Banks. It connects some of the richest and fastest growing towns in North Carolina. It is also considered one of the most vulnerable roadways in America. The towns it connects along its 148 mile path all face a similar problem. They're on borrowed time. Dr. Reed Corbett, head of ECU's Coastal Studies Institute, explains. Along the Northern Outer Banks, you know, we expect to see a rise in sea level about one foot over the next 30 years. You know, we are seeing some of those impacts with increased inundation during wind events, during storms. The town of Rodanthe has become a poster child for sea level rise from climate change in recent years. Like most of the northern outer banks, its eastward facing shores bear the full brunt of the unrelenting Atlantic Ocean. This 2022 viral video shows the ocean reclaiming a beachfront home in Rodanthe during a storm. Just up the road in Nags Head, satellite imagery shows where beachfront homes used to stand, in a line that the ocean was never going to let hold. There will be some properties that, you know, in 10, 20, 30 years, that they're just too vulnerable. We won't be able to save every property across coastal North Carolina. We need to think about where we focus our efforts, where we focus our finances for becoming more resilient. And with storms getting stronger and more frequent, solutions for Outer Banks homeowners are becoming increasingly harder to come by. We can't wait until the next disaster, the next hurricane, the next big nor'easter um, to, to address some of the challenges. We need to put plans in place today. From the Outer Banks, Max Claypool, Storm Team 9.